guys, it's Kira from KiraWilliamsFitness.com and today we are going to go over hip thrusts and the many variations. All right, as we are doing these, obviously I'm showing you the barbell variation first. We can get into it the way that I got into it in the beginning of this video, or we can start here uh, from the floor with the barbell over our hips and kind of cradle it with the hips as we use our arms to get our upper backs onto the bench. This does get a little hairy as the weight gets heavier. Where it's going to be on your hips really has to do more with your comfort than anything. We want the feet somewhere below the knees. They could be spaced out a little further. They could be spaced in a little closer. This all depends on where you feel it most in your glutes and hamstrings. When we do these, we want to lower down so we have a nice bend in the hips and then we are going to squeeze the glutes and we're going to we're looking for a flat surface through the torso which you'll see when I do the body weight we're not cranking our neck we're kind of just keeping our head in this neutral position squeeze the glutes as we come to the top we can do these with a pause we can do these just regular tempo. We can go slow on the way down. Any of those variations. That's our, that's with the barbell. Going into the body weight variations, we're gonna have our upper back on the bench. And again, feet somewhere that you feel this primarily through the glutes, also some through the hamstrings as well. If you want to cradle your neck, you absolutely can do that because you have nothing else that you need to be doing with your hands when you're going for this body weight variation. Notice when I'm at the top, my glutes are squeezed, but I'm not hiking my hips up, which is putting that extension through the lower back. Just going down here from this nice deep bend, pressing up, activating the glutes on the way up. We can do these with a single leg as well. We can hold that leg up on our own. We can come into this figure four as well. Just make sure that whichever leg you're working, you are squeezing that glute at the top. We also have a dumbbell variation, which is just simply holding a dumbbell here at the hips. And again, we can do the two leg, we can do the single leg variation of that as well. One other little twist that we can add would be to add a small loop band just above our kneecaps. This is going to force our glute medius to work a little more, creating that abduction. And again, we can go dumbbell. We can go body weight or we can bring the barbell in for barbell and the band. And if you want all of these hip thrust variations of exercises in your workout program, sign up for online training at Kira Williams Fitness dot com.